U.S. President Donald Trump addresses the United Nations General Assembly in New York. What did he say about global trade and other major international issues? Hello, I'm Mike Walter, filling in for Anand Naidu, and this is The Heat. U.S. President Donald Trump underscored his America First policies when he addressed world leaders at the U.N. General Assembly meeting in New York on Tuesday. He talked about trade in his ongoing dispute with China, and he also raised other controversial global issues, such as U.S. relations with Iran. Joining us now from the United Nations is the regular host of The Heat, Anand Naidu. And Anand is covering the U.N. meeting for the next couple of days for us in New York. Anand, let's start with uh, President Trump's comments on trade and China. What did he have to say? Mike, hello from New York, and thanks very much for that. Indeed, the president devoted a considerable part of his speech to the United Nations General Assembly on Tuesday morning to the issue of international trade. It's something that he's been talking about for a very long time. In fact, it's become one of his signature foreign policy themes when he addresses these big forums, and here in the United States as well. Uh, he returned to, or rather reiterated, what he's been telling us for many months, in fact, since he came to office, even before he came to office, while he was campaigning, that the United States is being taken uh, advantage of by its main trading partners, both allies and those with hostile intentions against the United States, he says. He says that the United States is not on a level playing field, that countries are taking advantage, and uh, that in many, in many instances they are manipulating currencies, they are dumping goods on the United States. Let's listen to part of what he had to say. We have racked up $13 trillion in trade deficits over the last two decades. But those days are over. We will no longer tolerate such abuse. We will not allow our workers to be victimized, our companies to be cheated, and our wealth to be plundered and transferred. Later in that speech, Mike, President Trump said that he and the United States was going to address some of those issues. That's why he's renegotiating some of the major trade agreements that the United States has. He talked about renegotiating NAFTA. That's a trade agreement between the United States, Canada on the one hand, Mexico on the other hand. Recently, there was a new agreement signed uh, with Mexico. While he was here in New York, he signed an agreement with South Korea, a major ally of the United States in Southeast Asia. That was an agreement that was renegotiated as well. And he also blamed the WTO, the World Trade Organization, for many of the United States' ills. He said that company was, uh, countries were rather manipulating the WTO for their own advantage. He pointed to China and said that since China had joined the WTO, thousands, in fact, millions of jobs had been lost in the United States, transferred to China. Lots of factories had closed here in the United States, that China had, in, 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 in fact, stolen jobs from the United States. He also pointed, of course, to one of his recent actions, he uh, reminded us that uh, the United States had imposed 10 percent in tariffs on almost $200 billion worth of Chinese imports into the United States. That's in addition, of course, to the $50 billion worth of goods that the United States also imports, Mike. Uh, a lot of talk about trade, but also a lot of talk about tensions. Uh, President Trump talking about Iran and some of the other global issues. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, of course, it was this laundry list of international issues that's been preoccupying this particular administration. Uh, on Iran, he said that, well, he, he talked about Iran's malign uh, behavior in the Middle East, talked, said that the United States would uh, at least had, uh, he tried to justify the United States' decision to withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal, what is known as the JCPOA. He said that the United States and its forces would remain in Syria. That's another big area of conflict, of course, in the Middle East. They would remain there, he pointed out, as long as Iran and its troops were acting outside that country. He also uh, talked about his decision, a very controversial decision made by his administration uh, earlier this year, to uh, relocate the, uh, Israel, the United States Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, and said that he was doing that for an ally and that countries had the right to choose uh, where they would want to uh, put their embassies. Two other issues that he mentioned, Mike, that I will talk about, and that is one is human rights. The United Nations has a human rights council. It's an intergovernmental agency. He targeted this council and said that they were protectors of egregious abusers of human rights and that they were bashing the United States 
and its allies. And as, as a result of that, the United States was withdrawing from this council. This is a very important uh, human rights body at the United Nations, the Human Rights Council. He also referred to the International Criminal Court and said that the United States did not recognize the legitimacy of this international court. And then, there again, he said that it was behaving unfairly towards the United States um, and, and protecting others around the world. Mike? Anand, looking forward to your coverage all week long from New York. Thanks so much.